Well, hey folks, I'm out metal detecting today. I am out at a new permission today, a new field. It's an overcast day. We'll see how the weather goes. Look at this field behind me. I've got some in front of me. Um, it's gonna be a wild card day today. I've got some dots on the map I wanna hit. I think there's some, uh, some more modern, more recent uh, home sites here dating to the mid 1900s, 40s, 50s. But I have a feeling there's some older ones here as well. Uh, just based on some things I've seen. So we're going to go out as usual. Expectations are high. Let's go dig some history. All right, well, I've made my way out here to where I think I wanted to go, almost anyway. And I have my first desirable target, I think. Little brass buckle. Look at that. That's a cool little buckle. I think it's too terribly old, but I like it. That's the first good keeper. All right, well, it's early in the hunt, but I think I am already on the board with silver. Where is it at? Right in there. You see it? Look at that reeded edge. What do you think it's gonna be? It just has the look of a barber to me. Always hoping for something old. Oh, it's a rosy. What's a rosy doing out here? Oh my goodness, all rubber rosy. Not worried about that. Nineteen fifty three on the board with silver. I'll take it. Not gonna complain. What's that doing out here? This wind is howling, so I have no idea if this audio is even coming through, but I just popped a twenty five twenty six. Is that gonna be a buffalo? No, it's a Jefferson. Jeffersonian. Well, I'm on a uh, definitely a more modern patch here with that Roosevelt and then this. So hopefully there's going to be some older stuff here. It's got to be. Well, I just dug that Jefferson nickel and I'm just right near that. And look at this. Is that going to be a blue Bennington? Way in here on the surface? Yes, it is. Awesome. Haven't found one of these in a while. These are my favorite to find. Don't see any big cracks or missing chunks. I think it's mostly there. Awesome. Had a surface signal right here and I think it's gonna be a little brass ring. Look at this. missing the stone but yeah that's exactly what that is brass ring laying there on the surface looks like it would have been a man a man's ring that's cool All right, I'm gonna to try to do a live dig here. This is the best signal I've had. Straight up 94, 95. Doesn't change a bit. I mean, that's half dollar range. Could be even silver, uh, whole dollar silver coin range. Let's see if we can just see something as it's coming out of here. I feel like it's gonna be a Decent sized target. Look right there. Look right there, guys. <laughs> I'm glad I dug that. 
What is it gonna be? That's half dollar size. Is it? That's half dollar size. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me get where I can see this. You see it? I knew that sounded crisp. Let's see what it is. Is that gonna be a half dollar? I think it is. I think this is gonna be a half dollar. It is. <laughs> it's a Benjamin Franklin. Oh my goodness, it's a half dollar. Well, that just goes to show you that it's it's not always a bad idea to stick around these more modern sites. Look at this. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't think I've actually ever dug one of these. Wow. No, it's not old, but it is big silver. Let me get my spray out and I'll be right back. All right, I got my spray here. Let's uh let's get it cleaned up. Definitely 1960. Let me just get the back cleaned up here a little bit. It's in pretty good shape too. Look at that. Oh man, I love I love digging big silver. I don't care if it's 1960. Look at that. Awesome. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that uh, that makes the hunt right there. Some folks may not think that's a very cool find, but I do. I love it. And I called it. Guys, you heard me say it. That's right in the half dollar range. Take that all day long. Outstanding. I just about had a heart attack. <laughs> it was a good signal. And that jumped out at me. And I thought it was going to be like a cut Spanish or something. But it's actually a tax token, aluminum, and it's bent over. It's, it's broken. But man, that popped out laying there. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh well. Just popped another little marble. It was right there. It's a pretty blue one. More modern. Definitely 1900s. I like it. Had a 4142. Hopefully you can hear me over that wind. What is that laying there? Is that some kind of button? Got an iron backing on it. Let me get a, I don't think that's anything. Let me get a brush on it. Thought it was gonna be like a little eagle and shield, but that's weird looking. Let me get a brush on it real quick. Well, I'm not exactly sure. I guess it's some sort of a little brass grommet, maybe off of a piece of furniture with that iron backing. That's weird, but it's got a really fancy design on it. It's kind of weird. I like it, of course, because it has fancy on it. We'll take it. I saw an oval shape pop out and I got excited. <laughs> it's going to be a, a brass cow tag. I've dug these before. It's pretty cool, actually. What number is it? Number three? Yep. But it's the same shape as a uh, a plate, Civil War box plate or a belt plate. I like it though. Had a really high signal. Popped out that. Some kind of old. Uh, latch piece it's got a little clasp that would like on a door maybe 
or a bread box or a bread safe. I love these old brass pieces. Oh, it's got a number there on it. Look at that. What does that say? 1864. Probably patent 18... No, 1854. That's cool. I knew I was going to just get more mud in it when I did that. Got a little something right above it. I'll, I'll be able to get something off that. Alright, I like that. That's a little bit older, so that's what we're after this period. I've moved back to, uh, back a little more in the field, so, and I'm all over bricks. So there's definitely something back here as well. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do back here. Alright, well that rang up like an Indian. An Indian head scent. It was in the 50s. Maybe we're getting on to some older stuff. Is it? Yes, it is. Absolutely. 18. Can you see that? It's not focusing, is it? Come on, focus. Why well, it's not focusing? Oh, almost fell. Let me try. There we go. Sorry. Where'd he go? There he is. Let me, yeah, there you can see the one cent there. Let me work on this just a second. I think we can get a good date off this. All right, well, she's pretty worn. 1893, maybe. One cent Indian head scent. What's going on with my camera? Sorry. All right, so that's uh, I'm I'm thinking we're on to the older stuff here. So that is an awesome, awesome indication, and I love the coin, even though it's even though it's pretty pretty toasty. Um, that's an 1800s coin, so. We will definitely take that, and I'm going to slow down just a little bit to see if there's anything else here. I had a piece laying here on the surface. What do you make of that? Is that a trigger guard? What is that? I'm not sure what that is. That could be a trigger guard. It's brass. I don't know what this little hole right here is. If I could keep it in the viewer. I don't know. I'll take a closer look at it. I'm seeing a uh, dark cloud on the horizon here. I may get rained out. There was a chance of rain. I hope not. Definitely starting to get on some older stuff. Definitely think I'm going to get rained out, but I had a really good 90 signal, and I'm definitely in an iron patch. Like it's just solid iron back here. I think that's gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a cut or a uh, copper, but that doesn't look. What is this? Y'all see anything on that? It's definitely. Rang up really high. Let me get a toothpick on it. See if we see any details. I think it's a copper coin, guys. I just can't... S almost saw a bust on there one time. Almost. There's something right there. You see those little three, three dots? That's something. That should help me with an ID. What is it? See right there?
I'll work on it some more. I think that's an old copper coin. It's been a while since I've dug one. Hmm. Let me know if you see anything there that I'm not seeing. I'll, I'll work on it some more when I get home, but I think that's a bust right there on this side. Awesome. All right, I'm definitely on some older stuff here. Just hope it don't get rained out. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about this coin. I got it home, got it cleaned up a little bit more. Uh, posted it as an Instagram story asking for help for an ID. And one of my uh, Instagram buddies, he's a really smart coin guy. He's uh, Piracy Coin Antiquities. That's Piracy underscore Coin underscore Antiquities. Very smart coin guy. Got right back with me and he gave me the answer I was looking for. And this is a really cool find. Uh, very unexpected for this site. So let me point out a few things here and then I'm gonna throw a, uh, a picture of the actual coin up next to this one so you can see it. So we saw this little mark out in the field right there, those three little dots. I'm not sure if that's like a, uh, a mint mark or what that is, uh, but there are different variations of that on, on these series of coins. Then also we can see part of what looks to be a bust here not sure if that was the base with a little indention here and it kind of goes up. And then also, uh, right up in here, we can see part of what looks to be part of a bust as well, that little line, and then a D right here. And then if I flip, flip it around, there's a U right here. So you can kind of see that a little bit, U and possibly another letter here. So that's kind of what we were working with. You can see kind of the beginnings of an outline here of a bust. So now let me throw this up to the side and I'm gonna throw the actual coin up. So what this turns out to be is a 1700s French sole. So that's Louis XV. These were minted from 1715 to 1774. And so you can see the similarities um, of the details here. The bottom piece is an exact match down here the bottom of the bust all the way up to the forehead and then you can see the D um, right here with the hairline if you can see that I hope I'm doing a good job showing it can kind of make out the bust there um, and then on the back not much here at all let me flip it the correct way so it would have been flipped this way um, you can almost make out part of the crown right in here you see that just barely and then right above that would have been the date and I can't quite make it out so it's definitely a 1700s coins too bad it's broken probably was hit by a plow at some point but man what a cool find that is um, the oldest coin I've dug in quite some time 1700s coin uh, yeah <laughs> Very happy with that find. So, all right, on with the show. All right, well, I'm, I'm trying to outrun the rain, and that wind is just coming in. I think it's blowing in a storm. But I found another little tag here, maybe a cow tag. JP at the bottom, a five and a something. I don't think there's anything on the back. I'll get it cleaned up, but I'm definitely going to come back to this spot. There's older stuff here. We'll see if we can get a better better view of that when we get cleaned up. All right, well, I'm definitely on to some good stuff here. Older stuff, anyway. Look at this toe tap. Look at that. That's a big one, too. <laughs> Complete. A lot of times, Civil War soldiers would use these. This, By no means does, this, uh, does that mean that this was for sure a Civil War soldier, but could be definitely liking this spot a lot more now all right I thought I would try to do a little live dig here again turn on my pinpointer it's right here on the surface it rang up just like a dime Let's see if I can grab my go down under it here see if it's gonna pop out see anything something right here it's probably not gonna be a dime 
what is it gonna be? Some kind of little washer. <laughs> All right. Got a cool little find here. It was laying right there and I just plucked it. Look at this little brass little thimble here. Don't find too many brass thimbles. I've got a few of them. Look at that. I should be able to put that back in some type of shape. Love it. Such a cool little relic. I always love finding thimbles, especially silver, but brass is ab absolutely cool as well. All right. This is some of the thickest iron I've ever metal detected in. It is just nonstop rumble. I'm gonna have to bring my small coil, small coil back out here. But I just had a very shaky 90 signal, which is quarter. And look right here, just what popped out. Like it was one way, could not get it rep to repeat the other. You just have to dig these signals out here in these iron patches. Look at this. That's a quarter. That's a silver quarter. Look at this. Number three silver on the day. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a seated. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I knew there was some old stuff here. That's a seated. Oh my goodness. And it was just a terrible signal. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Did I, did I get that with my shovel? I can't tell. Oh man, it's in rough shape. It's in rough shape. Look at this. 18. Oh man, I can't even see the date on it. What's that look like? 18 something. Let me uh, let me work on this just a second. I'm the rain is almost to me. I think. <laughs> oh man, these do not come up very often. This is mm, my third ever. I think. I think this is my third. Oh my goodness. Let me work on it just a second, see if we can get a good date. All right, you can see it there. Definitely gonna soak this one in some lemon juice. It's got some crud on it. 1877, seated Liberty quarter. And it looks like I did get it with my shovel, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that happens from time to time. I try to avoid it as much as possible, but wow, wow, wow. What a day, what a hunt. I'm not sure I expected it to be this good today. Three silvers, got the uh, silver half, the Benjamin, the Franklin, excuse me, <laughs> and then a seated Liberty Quarter. I'm gonna start working my way back to the truck. Maybe I can get in a couple more little lines here. Definitely gotta bring the small coil back out here. There is more here. Awesome. All right, well, I made it back to my truck before I got too wet. It started to rain right as I was getting to my truck, but here is the board. A good looking board if you ask me, so let's run through the wrap up. We'll start over here. Got the little brass ring. Thought I might be able to try to bend it back out, but it is very brittle. So I will add that to my box of rings. Uh, that's a piece of lead. Looks like a sprue mark on it, but it's, it's almost like just half it's, it's not fired or anything but that definitely looks like a sprue mark so could have been a piece of a musket ball uh some kind of little lid piece i don't know what that was as usual some of this i got on uh got recorded some i didn't there's the little heartbreaker thought it was going to be a cut spanish a couple uh pieces of clad lead seal there's the blue bennington love it the other marble i don't know if i got the other marble on uh recorded some kind of little um, lantern piece or lamp piece, brass. A uh, big piece of flat lead. Some of the uh, pottery dish shards I picked up. I really like this one. That's the English, pink English scenery. Um, several different makers of that. 
pieces of uh, some door locks, door jams, big piece of brass. Here's the uh, brass latch piece off of a pie safe or something, patented May 1854. I couldn't find an exact example. I'm not sure that it's off a of pie safe, but I think something like that, a chest or some kind of dresser. I don't know. It's cool, though. It's got a cool aesthetic to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely, I don't think a, uh, a musket trigger guard. I thought it might be one of the more ornate ones that just kind of end in the open. Um, but it's too thick up here. And it's got that weird thing down here happening. Sorry, I coughed. Um, so yeah, I don't know what that is. Brass, hook. Could have been a, uh, a curtain holder, um, drilled into the wall, and these kind of would pull a, uh, pull the curtains back to hold them in place. Uh, some other kind of leap piece of brass lamp bottom thing. I don't know. That rang up really nice, by the way. Uh, the buckle, the cow tag, the brass thimble. Also very brittle. I may not be able to get it straightened back out. We shall see. Uh, what else down here? Here's the other little tag. The JP and the 52. It could be like a... Um, uh, picker's check or something like that. I didn't really see anything on the back, but now I'm kind of noticing something there. I'll have to take a closer look at that. I didn't really see anything. Um, so not sure about that. Could be a range of things that use similar tags um, like that. Here's this little iron back grommet looking thing. Probably off some furniture. Uh, the toe tap or toe plate. Definitely could have been Civil War. Um, the, the soldiers um, would often tap these into the the toe area of their, their brogan shoes just to kind of keep the wear um, down to a minimum, or at least try to. I mean, those guys were on the go a lot, and their shoes wore out a lot, and that's probably the reason, reason they wore these and the uh, the heel plates. And then the, uh, the coins here uh, ended up getting a 1911 wheat cent. Halfway decent looking little coin there. I don't think there's anything crazy about that date, but it's a good looking coin. Uh, this turned out to be an 1893 Indian head. Quite toasted. 1893. Got the rosy. I don't know if I noticed a mint mark on this one or not. <clears throat> D, yeah. So that's Denver, 1953. Uh, we'll do this. So I let it soak in lemon juice. And then, yes, I did use some baking soda just because I wanted to get that tar off there. But it's toasted. 1877, I did put that little notch down the side. I normally don't clean my silver coins, but this one was just awful. I mean, ha has zero value other than the actual silver, uh, silver net value, but the weight value, excuse me. Um... But yeah, 1877. You can kind of see it there. Had come some kind of like weird tar on it. But it is a seated Liberty quarter. I don't get many of those, so I am very glad to get that, even though it's in bad condition. The Franklin half dollar, no mint, so Philadelphia. My first one of those. And then, guys, I have to think the find of the day is this weird-looking <laughs> broken copper that I mentioned in the little vin um, the little piece that I, I talked about it in. 1700s French soul, King Louis the Fifteenth. Not much there, but what a cool find! All right. Well, as usual, thanks as always for watching, following along, commenting, all the interaction. It is greatly appreciated, and I think that's going to do it for this time. All right, see you guys next time.